In this series, we will be looking at the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel and the book of Revelation are known as twin books. They unlock each other and must be looked at together. You will find in the description below a link to the overview of the book of Daniel in picture form. Before we begin, chapters 1 through to 6 are familiar stories and are much easier to understand in contrast to chapters 7 through to 12, which sound very much like the book of Revelation. We must, however, not overlook chapters 1 through to 6, as each of these chapters and accounts were not only relevant to Daniel and the days he lived in, but they find their ultimate fulfillment in the book of Revelation. Therefore, the whole book of Daniel relates to the book of Revelation. The name Daniel means, God is my judge. The book of Daniel therefore reveals God as judge. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 17 tells us, For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Before the judgments of God are seen upon the kingdoms of the world, as we will find as we study the book of Daniel, God first brings judgment to His own house. This is seen clearly in the captivity of God's people that took place in Daniel chapter 1. The book of Revelation follows the exact same pattern. We find Jesus ministering to the seven churches before God's judgment are poured out on the earth. Let's begin with chapter 1. Chapter 1 is about Daniel and his three friends who purposed in their hearts to obey God. Before we look further into that, we first need to understand the historical context of this book as this lays a foundation in understanding future chapters of the book of Daniel. Who are those involved? We have King Nebuchadnezzar, he is the king of Babylon, King Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, and we have Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. They are those who were taken captives from the house of Judah to Babylon. The nation of Israel, as we know, is made up of 12 tribes, from the 12 sons of Jacob. After the death of Solomon, the nation was split into two. Ten of the tribes became known as the House of Israel, also known as the Northern Kingdom, and the two remaining tribes, namely Judah and Benjamin, became known as the House of Judah, also known as the Southern Kingdom. We also need to understand that there were two different captivities that took place. The first one was the Assyrian captivity, which involved Israel or the Northern Kingdom. Then about a hundred years later, we have the Babylonian captivity, which took place under King Nebuchadnezzar, which involved Judah or the Southern Kingdom. Therefore, that which is taking place in the book of Daniel refers not to Israel as in the northern kingdom, but deals specifically to the southern kingdom, in other words, the house of Judah, from which the term Jews is derived from. The Babylonian captivity took place in three invasions, and chapter 1 deals specifically with the first one. Now we are told in verse 2 that the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into the hand of King Nebuchadnezzar. So we ask the question, why? There are two major reasons. The first one is because of their transgression, sin, and iniquity. 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 34 to 37 shows us the kind of king Jehoiakim was and how he did evil in the sight of the Lord. The people rebelled sinned and committed iniquity against God by departing from His precepts and judgment. The second reason has to do with the fact that they violated the Sabbaths of the seventh year. We are familiar with the term Sabbath. God worked six days in creation and rested on the seventh day. Man was also commanded to work six days and to rest on the seventh day. In like manner, there is a law for the land found in the book of Leviticus. The people of God were required to sow and work the land for six years, 
But in the seventh year, it was to be a Sabbath year of rest for the land. It also tells us that for all the years that the land did not have its Sabbath, God would bring desolation to their cities and scatter them among the nations. And because the people of God failed to observe the Sabbath of the land, for every year that the land missed its Sabbath, God caused the land to enjoy its rest while they were taken into captivity to the land of Babylon. For more information on this subject, please refer to the notes available in the description below. Let's now review the two reasons. First, because of their transgression, sin and iniquity. And the second, because they failed to keep and violated the Sabbaths of the seventh year. When we transgress God's law and do not repent, we can be taken captives in our own minds, opening ourselves up for deception. God's word is true, and when we choose to disobey, we will bear the consequences thereof. Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath, and our rest is found in Him. It is important, therefore, to wait and rest in the Lord as we live in a fast-paced and busy environment. Jesus said, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. The people had become busy and turned God's temple into a house of merchandise. Our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. We too can become so busy running our own lives that instead of being about the Father's business, we can turn it into a den of thieves. In the next video, we will be looking specifically at Daniel and his three friends and how they overcame the system of the world.